This is Mandy with Sparkleberry Ink, and we did a really cute shirt the other day using an offset and a knockout on Facebook Live, and we had a ton of requests for a tutorial. So I figured out how to do a screen recording. Yay! The first step is finding a some sort of icon that has a lot of cool little curly cues in it like this. And right now we're close to Valentine's Day, so I'm going to use this heart. I really like this design. Um, when your design comes in, if you're wondering why it's all black, I've changed it, I've filled it, I go to your little color palette over here, and I've filled it with black. Otherwise, it would look like this, but it's just going to be easier for me to tell where I want to place my name in a moment, and so I want to go ahead and fill it. So I've made it black. The second step is going to be your actual offset. For those of you that don't know how to offset, it's really simple. You're going to click on the name or the, the shape that you're going to offset, and you're going to right-click is what I use. And then you go down to, boom, there you go, offset. And you click that, and there you go. And that's what an offset is, right there, you can see. And then your offset panel comes up. And this is where you get to choose how big you want your offset, how far away you want it from your actual alerts. But I really like the setting for this design, the 0.125. So I'm going to press apply, and voila, there we go. I'm going to grab both of these. I'm going to place it over my design. And in case you're wondering, I know you are, and I'll be asked, so I want to let you know that this font is so cute. It's called Freya, and that's F-R-E-Y-A. I'll make sure to post a link to that font so you can find it and purchase it. Okay, so I've placed my offset and my name. I've used I've Put the name here. We're going to move that in a moment, but I've put it here for now just so I can get a visual of how it's going to look. Okay, so I really like that placement. If you want it bigger, you can definitely make it bigger, but we like that. So we're going to take the just the name, leaving the offset, and we're going to pull the name off of your cutting mat. So now you're left with just the offset. The next step is the knockout. And to do that, you're going to want to highlight both the shape that you're knocking out and the offset that you just created. And I've highlighted them both, they're both selected. Next you're gonna go over and you're gonna find the panel with the rectangle and the circle. Right there, you're going to press that. And this is the modify panel that just popped up right here. And then you're going to press, click, subtract all, and watch this. Okay, boom, there you go. It doesn't look like much to work with right now, but let me show you what it's gonna look like. You're going to pull your name back over here, and this is so good for pattern vinyl because you can use a solid color for your font, and then there's that spacing there to leave for your pattern. So I'm gonna pull this away again because you can see, like whenever I just clicked, that this shape is not grouped, and I, I really kind of like it to be grouped. But before I do that, I'm going to clean it up just a little bit. Do you guys see these little specks in here? These aren't needed. Whenever it cuts right there, it's not gonna be pretty. So we're gonna actually zoom in, and we're gonna clean this up. And cleaning it up means basically just deleting these little areas we don't want. So I don't like this one right here, so I clicked on it, and I'm just going to press Delete. You can also do it by right-clicking, but deleting is easy enough for me. Do that really quick. Oops. There's another little speck right there. And you can, these other little pieces, it's up to you. Remember, this is art. There's no such thing as a mistake in art. Ooh, I see one I don't like over there. So it's not a big deal. Okay. Now I'm going to group this back together just so along the way it doesn't get um, separated. And by doing that, I highlighted every single piece in that design element and I'm going to right click and go down to group. Boom, it's done. Okay, so I'm gonna move this back over just to make sure I really like it. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to change the pattern, how to make it, how to put a pattern in the design element so that you can see what a pattern's gonna look like in there. And it's really cool in these type of designs. So I really love that. How cool is that? It's so cute. You can do this with any shape. You could do it with states. You can do it with a, just a plain circle. So many things you can do. 
All right, so now really quick, let's go ahead and change this because I have a few patterns I have in mind, but I'm not really sure which pattern I want to use. So instead of just cutting it and wasting in case I don't like it, let's go ahead and use this handy dandy tool over here. There's also, this is called the fill panel on the right. And this is where I changed before. If you remember, I changed the color and you can change different colors. But I actually want to put a pattern in it. And so right here where there are these little polka dots, that's on there. And you guys have all of these. These are, this is a silhouette. Um, this is in your silhouette software. So you already have these and these are really cool as well. So, but if you're using Sparkleberry patterns, you probably would like to use the Sparkleberry pattern. And you can take little screenshots of the patterns from the website and get a good idea of what it's going to look like. So right now, let's do, I really like this flamingo one, and you can't see because the flamingos are really small. So in order for me to see them, I'm actually going to scale them. So if you come down here to Advanced Options, this was closed, this will be closed on yours, but you can open it by clicking on Advanced Options, and go down to Scale, and you can actually scale it up and down to be how you want it. So that's really cute, but you know what? I don't see enough of the flamingos in that. So I'm going to actually play around with it for a second. This is a heart pattern that I uploaded. This is Valentine Hearts, dark pink. That's the angle, we're gonna do the scale. So I'm just gonna play around with it and you can see how really cute it is. Here's another one, this is Messy Mardi Gras and it's going to be fabulous. We're about to list this. It's in our current mystery pack actually. So you can see how cool it's going to look. I love it. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull this in so you can see. And I wanna change the color just because, um, even though it doesn't matter right now because I'm this isn't exactly how my design's gonna look, um, I'm gonna change the color just because I wanna see exactly how it's gonna look. I know I wanna use a purple solid HTV if I use this Mardi Gras pattern. So I'm gonna click on my name, drag it back over, and go up to the solid colors. I'm actually gonna use this little dropper to go and find a purple that I like, and then I can find the color HTV that I have on hand that's gonna match it. So I like how the purple looks. I like this green. And let's find the black. Let's see if we can pull up some black in case I wanted to use black. It's not as black as it will be, so you can also just go back over here and click any of these colors. We can see that that is going to make a super cute design for a cup or for a t-shirt, a bag. I'm probably going to make another t-shirt because this is just super cute. I'm just in love with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial, and let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. Happy crafting, guys!